Hello, everybody. Today, I want to just show you and walk you through how to apply for business or personal funding. All right. So real quick, I'm going to share my screen. We're not going to play no games or waste no time today. All right. So just go to Katina Funds com katina funds.com that's the easiest way to get to all those funding options that i talk about on social media right so all right so check this out um we tried to streamline it a little bit so that um you can easily go on the website and find the funding options that best suit your needs right so for example number one it says startup business funding for eight or for 680 plus credit scores apply here right so you just go to um you click apply you're going to enter your name your email um um depending on what type of funding you're applying for that is how the questions you will have to answer are determined all right, so let's go look at number two. So number two, now we do have landing pages here too where you need to apply. Um, and this is just to keep track and so we can follow up with everybody, right? So because people will reach out, like there are a lot of people who apply um, from Facebook or from Instagram. And so the only way we would be able to track you is if we have your name and your email and your phone, right? But let's just get back to the point. Okay, I'm going to show you more in just a minute on how you get a response to your simple application. All right, so but let's look at number two. Number two says personal loans and startup business funding 650 plus credit scores, you must make 50 K um, a year, at least right. So what I'm saying is there are different um, options this startup business funding does not number one startup business funding does not require that you make any amount of money per year but the second choice does the difference between the two is that the one allows you to get the funding with a 650 credit score the other one wants you closer to 680 700 plus right all right so let's go to number three now number three it says fast business funding you must generate at least 6k a month business revenue now the difference here in number three now these are uh business funding loans based on the revenue that your company makes each month okay so if you are in business your company makes ten thousand dollars a month your business loan amount is going to be determined on what you bring in per month and these are called merchant cash advances all right now these don't require any credit score at all okay so yeah i'm going to make a note of that that we need to um or a lot of times you can get this get approved if you have bad credit all right so let's go to number four now number four number four number four number four this is where you can apply for a business line of credit up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars right and so um, this is fast funding. Also, you don't have to wait a long time like you would at the bank. Now, also what's unique about this particular uh, lender is that, I hope you can hear me okay. <laughs> My microphone's a little low. But what's um, special about this um, lender is that if you've had merchant, merchant cash advances in the past, or even right now, they will help you to refinance those so that you only have one payment. All right, so that's number four. Um, so this is a very unique company, a lot of options that they have, um, but you can get a business line of credit, merchant cash advance, and even refinance current monthly cash advances. Now, this requirement is that your company must generate $10,000 per month business revenue. All right, so let's go to the next one, number five. Now, this is where you can um, do collateral loans. Collateral loans is what's unique about number five. So say you want to get a loan and you want to put a house up for collateral, um, you can do that, okay? Now, number six, equipment financing. 
Now, with the equipment financing, this would be if you need a ask a, what what do they call it? An excavation machine. You know, plumbers. Those are extremely expensive machines, and plumbers need those or um, whatever type of equipment you need for your um, construction, manufacturing, um, healthcare business you can get equipment financing here. Now, also this company does franchise funding as well. I'm surprised we didn't list that, but we will. We'll be sure to add that. So, and number seven here. Now this is for real estate investor funding. Now, say you are looking to buy some real estate investment properties and you don't wanna spend cash, you wanna spend other people's money, all right? You can apply and get approved for a, um, real estate investor loan. And a lot of times you don't have to show your tax returns. All right. So, and often the loans are 70 or 80% loan to value. All right. So now people with 700 plus credit scores, like strong candidates, if they need um, or want um, funding from multiple sources. This is when you can apply and schedule a consultation for us to assist you one on one. Now, um, I, I'm going to tell you, um, we're not able to assist everybody one on one. Okay, this is the reason that it's streamlined. Um, it's really simple. It's a one page application. Um, so what we have found, though, when we try to assist everybody one on one, you know, it was a lot of time wasted. So um, we're not in the business to convince you to get business funding or talk you into it. It's like these are this is funding for people who actually need it and need to keep their business going or um, they need to expand or scale their business. This is for people who need funding. And so we're we're um, we're not able to help everybody. We get hundreds of applications in per day. Okay, and a lot of people, I will say probably 70% don't qualify, right? So, um, and let's talk about that. Let's talk about how you will get denied or may get denied. So, um, as I mentioned, um, one of the companies uh, will help you, will assist you, number four, if you've had, if you have previous merchant cash advances, right? So if you are applying with a different company, right? Say you're applying for the personal loans or startup business funding option number two, but you have two merchant cash advances somewhere else, you will likely be declined, right? Because this company doesn't do that. You know, they're mainly for um, companies or personal people who have a clean slate. They're getting their first time business funding loan and that's what they're looking for that's what option number two is for but option number four is a more robust company that has a large variety of options and they're able to help you if you have multiple merchant cash advances right um number two is probably not going to approve you because you are less likely to be able to pay back that loan if you have all this other stuff going on right so that's how that works. Um, another way a lot of people get declined is um, say they've had, let's go to, um, let's go to number four. No, no, excuse me. No, no. Let's go to number three, the fast business funding when you, um, now this is again where you get the merchant cash advance. Now, a lot of people get declined for number three if, because now this funding is based on the revenue your company makes each month. So people get declined for this if they've had too many non-sufficient fund fees in their um, business checking account. So if you're getting like two and three non-sufficient fund fees a month, you will likely get declined, okay? So those are a couple reasons that I see a lot um, of why people get denied for the business funding. Now, let me scoot on over to my email real quick. What I wanna point out is a lot of the business funding is, um, hold on one second. All right, so the business funding, 
let me just stop for a sec. All right, business funding is often communicated via email. So yes, this is 2022 and you know, a lot of companies were doing things so much faster and helping a large, large variety of people. So um, a lot of information is communicated electronically. So, you know, sometimes I might get people to reach out to me and say, hey, I apply for funding and I didn't get a response. Right. And so I've even had two people within the last 24 hours say, I reply, I apply for funding and no response. And so I asked, when did you reply? Today or three hours ago? So give us a little bit of time. Okay. At least give us 48 hours because the, like I was showing you, the only one that's a fast, um, turnaround is when you're applying for the fast business funding, the merchant cash advance. And again, I'm working with multiple lenders. So that's why I, I try to streamline it as best as possible so that you know where to go. But let me show you something with the emails. Now, when you check your email, right? Most of us have Google, right? And if not, they're pretty much all the same, Google and Yahoo. But let me tell you, sometimes your response goes in the spam folder. If you look over here to the left of my email and you scroll down, you see all these options, chats, schedule, all mail, spam, trash, categories, spam. Look at that, 133 items are in spam. A lot of times for some reason, our emails are automatically sent to spam folders, even though we might have communicated with the company before. So check other folders, check your spam, check your junk folder. Um, as you can see, we got social here, we got promotions here. So check your spam folders, okay? Um, because what I will have to do We'll have to get our people to go and look on the portal to see what happened. And often it'll say, we emailed the client that they were declined, right? Something like that. So um, yeah, we just wanted to let you know where to look, where to check for a response, um, kind of give at least 48 hours. Um, but Again, katinafunds.com, that's where a lot of the information is. We're going to even try to enhance it again um, to put a little bit more details um, so that uh, users can quickly find the funding item that they need. So um, thanks for watching this video. I just wanted to um, just show you really quickly uh, how to apply for funding. And so that's it for today. Um, if you are not already a subscriber to this channel, um, go ahead and click subscribe and press the bell notification. This way you are notified every time we upload a new video. All right. And also, um, don't forget to um, follow me on Instagram too, because I'm posting updates every single day on Instagram, sometimes twice a day. So you'll get a lot of new funding options, a lot of um, free course information. You'll get a lot of that stuff fairly quickly. And speaking of free courses, <laughs> can't believe I um, didn't think about this. But if you if you learned anything so far on the video, press that like button for me. All right. Now, um, number two, though, um, speaking of free courses. So next Thursday on June 23rd, a week from today. All right, so a week from today, 8 p.m. Eastern time, we are having a, let me pull up my little, let me see if I can pull up my um, flyer here. But um, next Thursday, a week from today, I'm holding a funding and credit workshop, right? It's gonna be a funding and credit challenge. So hold on one second, let me show you this flyer. Ah, all right. So yes, a week from today, we're having a funding and credit workshop. We want you to stop being declined for credit houses and for cash. All right. Um, hold on one moment. Got to find my Zoom link again. <laughs> hold on one second.
All right, there we go. All right, there we go, there we go. So a week from today, a week from today, Thursday, 623, 8 p.m. Eastern, an absolute free workshop. Stop getting denied for credit, houses, and cash. All right, now we only have 100 spots available. Now, if we do get to that 100 fast, we might increase it just a little bit, but to assure that you get a spot, all right, um, go ahead and register. I will put the link below this video. All right, what we're gonna talk about in this workshop, in this challenge, we're gonna talk about how to boost your credit score 20 points within 30 days. We're gonna talk about how to repair your own credit. All right, so I'm a certified advanced credit disputer. So I'm gonna give you all the tricks that I've tried and succeeded in. And I'm gonna let you know what's fairly quick and what might take a little bit of time, but you're gonna get some advanced credit repair techniques, the same techniques that are used when you pay a credit repair company. All right, so knowledge is power. You definitely want to be in the room so that you know what's going on, all right? Um, a number three, we're gonna talk about the different strat uh, the different sources of fundings. You know, um, great detail um, from what we just did today. Uh, number four, we're gonna talk about how to get approved for the real estate loans without using your tax returns. And number five, how to build that business credit and put yourself into position for big fundings. All right, so yep, again, that is next Thursday, eight o'clock um, Eastern time. And again, the website is uh, Katina. You know what, actually, I got a new website too. I'll put that below, but it's uh, Road to Millions. All right, that is the link. That is the, uh-oh, that's the place where you can um, sign up and register for the workshop. I honestly believe we might only have about 20 spots left. So, um, and depending on when you see this video. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So if you see the video, um, as soon as you see the video, be sure to register. And that's it. I look forward to seeing you next week at that live credit and funding challenge. It's Katina Willis signing off. Bye.